Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Monday the 7th of June 2021. Not a lot going on today, very very little meal news to bring you but we do have this from newsitden.co.uk and it's more from their interview with Scott Malone and it's, well let's have a read of it. It says meal with Scott Malone and why he feels fortunate as he points to an example of an ex-Derby teammate. Scott Malone admitted he feels fortunate after he sealed a permanent move to Mill from Derby County last week as other players scramble to secure clubs this summer. Malone, 30, was heading out of contract with the Rams at the end of June and pointed to the example of one of, the, one of his ex-teammates who hasn't been able to find a club for almost a year. Wingback Malone and former England international Tom Huddleston were in the same Derby squad that reached the playoff final under Frank Lampard in 2019. But Huddleston was released last summer at the age of 33 and didn't play a game last season. There are over 100 players out of contract after leaving championship clubs this summer, including Frank Fielding, Sean Williams and Shane Ferguson, who were released by Millwall. Malone was never going to be, be in that category after, match, after he matched his career best six goals in a season. Boss Gary Rowett also made it clear he wanted a permanent move for the Bay first coach at Burton in 2010. Malone knew where he wanted to be in 21-22, but that doesn't mean he doesn't think about others with less certain futures. It, the decision on the move, was made a few weeks before the season finished, Malone told the news. It was, uh, we want to keep you. I was just really concentrating on finishing the season well. I played well all season. I didn't want anything to affect my mind frame, to be honest. And then a few days after the season finished, it was pretty much all agreed and all signed. It's my third time back at the club now. Uh, I love it here. It's a unique club. It really is. The lads are great. I've, I've loved my time here, uh, here the last two stints. Everything was there, and it was there for me to go and play well again. So why disrupt that? The first season at Derby went well. We got into the playoff final. Everything was good. But then my second season there, my last season, it went a bit wrong. I wasn't in the team. I think now I'm getting back to playing my best football. I'm happy with that. So long it may may continue. It uh, takes the stress out of it. I'm I'm in a very, very fortunate position because uh, with with uh, the COVID, there are so many free agents available, so many good players out of contract that are probably sitting there and thinking, what am I going to do? And that is not being helped by um, EFL imposing squad limits on League One and League Two teams. They are only being allowed to have 20, I believe it's 25 players, which is absolutely shocking. And they wanted it to be 22. Unbelievable. Um, you look at one player, for instance, Tom, Tom Huddleston, that uh, I played with at Derby. He was out of contract last summer and didn't play football all season. You have to take these things into consideration. He's one of the best mid midfielders I've ever played with. I know he's a little older now, but in my opinion, he could walk into most championship teams in the middle of the park. He's that good. And yet he didn't play football all season. If you look at it like that, then I'm going to say I'm very fortunate to be in the position I'm in. The fact that Rowett is his manager was a uh, factor in agreeing the move. I had him at Burton. He was the assistant. Uh, it was in League 2. And I was playing as a winger. Really, though, I was at left back, so he knew I could do that, Malone said. When I came in, he said, I want more attacking from you. You've got to, to do the defensive side as well, but I want you to be the attacking wing back that I want. I think that suits my game in the end. It was a good fit. Malone now considers himself one of the leaders in the dressing room. Definitely, uh, 30 years old and with the amount of games I've played in the championship, he said. Especially after losing Willow and Fergie, they've been here for so long. This will be my fifth season with Mill, so that puts me up there with the longest serving, if you can call it longest serving over three periods. Uh, Coops has been here a while, Hachi. I'm in a handful of longest serving, so I'd like to say I'm one of the senior lads in the dressing room. The goal return, I was happy with. I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't get more. I can think of chances in my head now that I should have taken, really. I think I should have been on 8 or 9, if not double figures, given the chances I had. But saying that, the game's returned 43 and all, that's something I'm proud of, especially coming off the back of my last season at Derby. Uh, Malone and his family were heading off to Portugal for this week for a well-earned break. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's not going to oh, Is that gonna, still going to happen? Um, he'll have to quarantine when he comes back, won't he? Um, I don't know how it works here. And the old testing and all that. I suppose if you've if you got the money, you can afford it. So The squad had just two weeks fully off last summer of the suspension of football during the time when they had to train on their own. 
That meant from the start of pre-season training in 2019-20 to the end of campaigning in July more than a year with no time off. Malone explained the challenges of that. And then a quick turnaround to 2020-21. It was getting uh, going last season and then having to stop. But then you didn't really stop, Malone said, even though we spent the best part of two months at home. It was, you need to keep fit. We're not sure how long this is going on for. We had uh, running programs at home, which wasn't ideal because you end up having to run down the local park, run on pavements. That's even harder. That was mentally testing. So we've only really had two weeks off the last 18 months. It took its toll towards the end of the season. For a lot of last season, you were just playing off pure adrenaline. You didn't really train midweek. If you were away on Wednesday and then Saturday, you couldn't train. You had to travel into the training ground for, for recovery, and then you're off travelling again. It was six months of just playing games. It was tough. Yes, yeah, so there you go, Scott Malone. Um, interview from the News at Den, Suffolk News. And he's uh, being very considerate there, thinking about all the players who are out of contract uh, this summer. And as clubs face financial uncertainty and the EFL are imposing squad limits on League 1 and League 2 clubs, it's going to be um, a lot of unemployed footballers. And you, you, sh you would say, well, um, why should you care? But they're earning lots of money. But they don't all earn lots of money. Um, some of them uh, are still, they have mortgages, they have uh, bills to pay. They, haven't, they don't own it, their stuff outright yet. So, um, and it's going to be hard for them. And it's hard for a lot of people up and down the country. And uh, Scott Malone thinking about those people, uh, which is nice to see. So I told you there wasn't a lot going on. And literally that is it. That is it for today's Mill News. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.